Hello, everybody. This looks a nice, fair match. Um, only 400 TV difference. I'm glad I don't give a shit about this team, although, of course, I do. I can't help it. Um, he's got loads of mighty blow. Um, a blodge carrier. Um, is that leader? Yeah. Um, he's got he's got Sluk Fagor, which is an interesting name, isn't he? And he's got Pi Fagors. He's got two Fagors. I don't think I'll be able to beat a team with two Fagors. He's got a Pommer, some Mighty Blow, Guard, Tackle, Block. Oh, man. Get banged on. <laughs> um, he, he, oh, he has no extra arms. <laughs> he has no... He has no extra arms, so he's he's clearly some kind of noob, because everyone knows that extra arms is the is the pick of World Cup caliber coaches. So um, I can't, you know. Let's see what's his record. Nine two two, very good record. To be fair, isn't it? I think I know the name from somewhere as well. So um, he's probably not terrible, and he's got a four hundred TV advantage. This is gonna fucking suck, isn't it? Um, I guess I've got oh Jordell. I could get Jordell, couldn't I? Three war dancers. Because I don't like that this shithead hasn't got block. Although obviously he gives you insane cage breaking potential. I really don't like it, it doesn't have block. Whereas this guy has got block and dodge and sidestep and agility five. With leap. Um I think I'm gonna go Jordell. I honestly I don't even like Eldrill. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, two fagos, but no best fagos. Yeah. Um. Well, I saw till I do get killed when I play Wood Elves. Um, someone just died in the first game. Yeah, it is funny, isn't it, Muffled Pac-Man? Yeah, yeah, it is funny. Oh, -ho. Jordel, he should have claw, shouldn't he? Holy shit! What size is that fucking thing? Kitten see what happens. I guess it's okay actually having tw having it gives me a twelfth player as well, doesn't it? Um right, rule of five this bastard. Dances everywhere. Maybe he should have gone Eldrill in a, in a babe, but I just really don't like him. I really don't like it. Doesn't have block. If he had block instead of pass block, um, I'd have him. But I just hate that he doesn't have block. <laughs> Hello, Overlordy. Um, what skill does Jordel have? He has diving catch, I believe. Yeah, diving catch, basically irrelevant. Yeah, that's a good point, J5. Good point. Oh, yeah. I couldn't get him in my starting team, I thought, so I will buy him eventually. Um, but, yeah, I guess I should have started with him. I should have started with zero reroll, shouldn't I? So I could have started with the tree. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, man. What's the hat all about, Jimmy? I don't get it. True, true. True, Kedrick. Yeah, true. But still. It's still a silly terminology, isn't it? It's a silly it's a silly it's a silly name for the specific type of crime. As if as if the others all love crimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess they're not there. I guess you know, I guess most cream most crimes aren't actually motivated by hey, other they're just motivated by fucking ignorance or just not caring. Just it was a cringe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Jimmy Five. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. It's a very good point. It's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, I am dressed up as a Grinch. <laughs> I am the Grinch. I'm basically the Grinch in human form. 
No, oh God, he's gonna wreck my team. Maybe I should have gone for Eldril in the uh, in the bait. I don't know. I just fucking hate Eldril. Jord El can just do it all by himself now, can't he? If he fails to pick up here, Eldril can just fucking bed in and score himself. Fireball, bolt, anything, anything can happen. Anything can happen. On the other hand, he might just fucking wreck my entire team. 400, 400 TV up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Lupak was using his Chaos team. Didn't I spin at the wrong time then, eh? <laughs> I ran into a 400 deficit instead of an even match. Shit. Don't mind if I do. Do we all mans him? Probably. Could blitz this one, base him with him. And then get the others around there. Oh, I could blitz him though with Homer. And then he could still just go right there in GFI to base him. Blitzing the Pommer would be all right, wouldn't it? I don't see how I can't not bl blitz the Pommer. It's too good. Too much value in it, isn't there? Got a GFI, haven't I? Got to take care of his tackle. Eh? That was a decent blitz, I think. Jimmy's going to get himself killed. Well, it's easy to say that over Lordy, right? It's easy to say that and then be right. It's either going to get me, it's either going to win me the game or lose me the game, right? This blitz, this decision to man's here is either going to win or lose the game, isn't it? So. It's going to be easy for you to be proven right if he makes if he makes some cas here, but if he doesn't make some cas here, then you're wrong, aren't you? Now, obviously, he was going to make these blocks here anyway, so it's it's not changed anything regarding these blocks. Oh, triple skull! <laughs> oh man, dirty dog! He made his he made his loan. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's not that's that's not something. Oh, so that guy got injured. All right, but I would have been blitzed anyway, right? He would have been blitzed anyway. So let's not forget that he would have made a blitz, regardless. That wasn't an additional block that I gave up. This was an additional block, and he powdered do he powdered dodger, but he couldn't have taken them both down with it on. And he makes an injury. All right, so now Overlord is right. And isn't he clever? But it's not really true, is it? Because, you know, 
you don't expect the two blocks people make to be two characters. You can't live in fear of giving away blocks for one turn. Yes, that's very true, Kedris. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, yeah. M murders worth a monster. How yeah. Roger? Of course. Okay. Why Apo? Because he injured somebody. <laughs> and why not? Probably hurts the best one to Apo, isn't it? Because it automatically works. It was my catcher. I'd already taken the cards that turn. Failed to pick up my piece of shit. Good. Alright, good. He can just score. Just make some dodges and score. That's how that's how outrageous he is. But let's um That's an extra dodge to make. So I guess blitzing him is the best thing to do. So it stops him making the dodge. Stay fantastic. KO. Sloop Fagor. There's only room for best Fagor here. Sorry, buddy. Right. He can go at base him, can he? He can base him. Reginald can stay down. Chility five. <laughs> Why not score with my own guy? Because it was balls in his tackle zone. So better, better to try with the agility five guy, isn't it? Blitz is good, isn't it? Yeah, three plus pick up. I've only got two rerolls. I don't have to reroll it. I'd rather. So, you know, get roll loads of sixes. Oh, well. I just needed twos, to be fair. Oh, there were three sixes, but they were all two pluses. And it was double six on the armor as well. Soros could have done that missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, Crumsy, because what if he failed? You know, what if I fail the pickup, then my ward answer gets searched. So, um, so no, Crumsy is not right. I would contest Overlordy, but um, Crumsy is absolutely 100% wrong. If I put my ward answer in the end zone and I fail, who gives a fuck about levels, Overlordy? That you, you are the wrong person when it comes to Blood Bowl because, right, you have got the wrong attitude. It's not about leveling up your players it's not about you know ho hoping to have a superstar player a legendary player that's got loads of good stats and what have you it's about winning the goddamn game so fuck levels i will give i will happily give up all of my star player points to win the game that's what it's all about isn't it so there you go pro tip score with your fucking agility five beast who does everything on a two plus and don't give a shit about leveling up a war dancer. The war dancer will level eventually, won't they? You know? <laughs> Hello, Ducky. Oh, man. Pommer getting the cards there. 
Beautiful. Two cars in two turns. Three cars in two turns, actually, even. No skill to funny games. <laughs> I am the greediest, but that that's that's only you know <laughs> that's when you've already won you can be greedy, isn't it? Or like if you're pretty likely to win you can be greedy. But um Yeah, three cars in two turns. And he was the one complaining. Six. Sheesh. Six. I think a fireball here is four players. Oh, there's my whole team ready to react. I think a fireball. I'm happy with that. Shit. I'm not that happy about it. TBH. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, let's concede now and just play GTA, I think. Um, <laughs> Hello, young Nathan. I don't like it. <sighs> that was a shit fireball. It was a, entirely the wrong person that got hit. Any of the other three would have been all right, and it hit the one, the wrong one, and fucking didn't hit any, any of those three going down, would have been fine. This guy, come round, get two assists in with a guard, and, you know, smash him. Or this guy goes down, get a guard in, smash him. Or this guy goes down, agility five goes in, and instead, one in nine, and, um, fail. I think it was okay though doing doing that move first, and then I would have gone for this leap, and then I would have gone for Jordel leaping into um, Boston. Extra arm ten. That's uh, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Extra arms. I'm not a fan of extra arms. It's safe to say I'm not a fan. I don't think it's. I don't think it's the advice you should be giving to new players to take extra arms. But um that was a really shit wizard, wasn't it? That was a really, really shit wizard. There were really there were three four pluses. So that was what? One in four, one in eight chance of just nothing happening. So it was definitely better than a than a bolt. And if any of them had gone down, I'd have got at least a one dice on the ball. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good, J5. <laughs> I really don't like extra arms. But, you know, people people can take it, blob skills in the club, and I'm not going to call them terrible for taking it, but I think they're wrong, and and I would never take it. Never, never, ever, ever. Do I foul him with plus three before he annihilates the rest of my team? Wow. Pointless risks against Wood Elves with an agility five player. Oh, man, I could have fireballed this turn. How bad do I feel? Fireball here would have been really good, wouldn't it? I've got to put the guard in to get hit by him and probably a pin. That's the bad thing. Then foul him with three assists. I think I'm going to just because why the fuck not?
field. All right, didn't even get sent off, I don't think. Nice. Don't know why I'm moving back there, because it could be one forward there, I failed. I guess I should move the ward onto first, shouldn't I, because he's got dodge. Oh, well. Then he would have been one, two, three, four, five. He'd have been here, that would have been much better. I don't know why I didn't do that. Now he can really progress down here. Oh, well, fuck it. Get rid of here. I've used the fireball El Mato. I used it last turn, but it did fuck all. Remove both back orbs. Good. <coughs> Good. No. Both the fagors are off the pitch. There's only room for best fagor. Oh, man, that was so bad not dodging the ward onto that. He should have gone out first, shouldn't he? Then he'd been there and I'd have actually had somewhat of a screen. Hopefully, um, Jordel can get in the way with his sidestep a little bit. Can always one dice the ball here, can't I? It wouldn't be the worst. Oh yeah, no, that's just Pi Gauze. That's just Pi Gauze. And that one is Pi Fagauze. It's Pi Gauze. Quicker fail. Ooh, can I um I can just block this guy, can't I? What the fuck? Do this dodge this first. Fucking one in nine. One in nine into death. Wow. Wow. So I was thinking, you know, obviously block here, and then he can just dodge out, and uh, in there, and then two dice him, and then I'd get the block in for the, um, you know, two dice on the ball then, or one dice on the ball. It's not really that good, is it? I guess I need to get him in, so um, maybe I should just one dice him and then dodge him in there somehow. But that was pretty unlucky, wasn't it? Pretty unlucky, one in nine, into death. Wow. Should take a lot of bullshit though, even, even getting a one dice on him. Like I needed to get a two dice in there, I needed to, I needed, actually needed to one dice him. And then two dice him, and and like pow, pow both of them basically, so I'd get an assist. Because one dicing him isn't going to do anything, is he? He's going to dodge. <sighs> it's just not going to have a team. If I'd scored with him. Yeah, I always, I always get my teams killed. Um, my Wood Elf teams kill, are always killed. I mean, I can't just leap in and one dice him, can I? That's just dumb. So is there a way to get two dice on the ball here? You could one dice this guy. He could one dice him. I'm not feeling good about all these one dices though. whole team in contact. You could dodge out and obviously get a guard in. But to, to what to what end? Or do I just screen? I don't have enough turns left to screen, I don't think. Could one dice him into there? I 
and get the push. And then get foot like then get a two dice on him somehow. Maybe that could be a play. Lift him from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd need a three two to get there. Then one dice in, push move him into here, push him out there. Then move him around there and two dice in with him somehow. I guess that's the best I'm gonna get. I'll put him in here first. And I can re-roll either of these two, actually. All right. So now this is a one dice because I don't have the guard in, but I can just dodge the guard out. But I don't have a recovery, but I can have a canoring threat. Yeah, make me make a 50 50 dodge. Thanks. Thanks, Simon. And Jordell's not catching it, what a dickhead. And then the fucking warrior does. What a joke. What a joke. Oh man, get banged on. Play should be penalised if we don't foul ward on. So. Alright, excellent, Jim Sherman. Well, I don't know. I mean, I like, I like Wood Elves a lot. Um, just try something. I would just say try something, Jim Sherman, and um, and you know, if you like it, you like it. You know, just give give things a go. Let's see what you like. That's good. I'm happy you like him. Lord L. <laughs> he's no he's no Jordel, is he? Man, this is pretty ridiculous. Gets a two D here, doesn't he? If he you know or he's three D maybe, yeah, he isn't good. Oh shit. Oh, of course he does. Fucking prick. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, I would just I would just say try try stuff, you know. Try stuff and see if you like it, basically. Um, because it doesn't matter if you lose, you know, does it? So just give things a go, and if you like them, you like them. But Liz I, really, I really like Lizards. I can't believe he's made a kind of crazy screen. I can't believe he's stunned. If he hadn't stunned Jordel, he just loses the ball, maybe, doesn't he? The um, optimistic canoring threat there. Right, face a mighty blow, guy. That seems like a good idea. Six, seven. I'm better just dodging, aren't I? Until I use dodge. Maybe I should have made all them dodges first. Fuck. Two, 
just going to surf me. Um, Hopefully you'll feel something. I pushed him the wrong square, shouldn't I? I should have pushed him here. That's just fucked up. If I pushed him here, then um, it's much harder for him to surf me because he'd have had to put a guy there and hit from there. Whereas now I've just left an easy surf on. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hello, combat bunny. Um, I don't know about the dice bag. I never look at the dice bag. That was a, such a bad push. I don't. I just pushed. You know, wanted him away from the end zone. Um, but I should have put him here. That was a really bad push. Given up a mighty blow block for no reason. But it it took up two players' actions, didn't it? And he's still a scoring threat next turn. He can just fuck off next turn if he wants. Coffee pals. Never any doubt. But the thing is, he probably blitzes with tackle, doesn't he? Rather than ris risking the one from the mino. So I guess he, d he d I guess he doesn't get surfed. Yeah, he doesn't get surfed. All right, that's okay then. Hmm. How does he protect the ball now? With a minor. <laughs> with a minor call. Do I save my rear for the one turn? I probably don't have enough players to even try a one turn. TBH. The other ward answer died on a dodge. Bleeding hippie. Contorted. Will Ferrell. Dead. GFI's has scored, giving me two turns to score. All right. Fair enough. I, I didn't even give him more KO to recovery, did I? Wow. Wow, he failed all his KOs. That's good. That's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. So there's a chance that he fails. He stays out at least. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's only got eight. Eight against seven. So I should be able to score here with a reroll, shouldn't I? And a fucking agility five. And a catcher and a ward answer. Yeah, literally dead, yeah. In game audio is really low. Uh, it was really high yesterday, so I turned it down. Um, and I didn't turn it back up. If it's too loud. Let me know. I'm too quiet or whatever. Hopefully this will be alright. Yeah, this is a new team. Combat Bunny. This is a new team. Um, it played one game. And now... This is a star player. Came down 400 team value in my second game. Which is Which is nice and fair, isn't it? Nice and fair TV matching there. I mean, he's going to try and score, isn't he, if he gets it, and then he can be a scoring threat. He can um, he can also be a scoring threat because he's agility five. So actually, I probably just want to block with this guy, don't I? Just move with him first. So 
first thing I do is I move the catcher, blitz with him, protect the catcher. Oh, he's got his minor back there. Because I guess it, I'd rather score the catcher to get the star player points. A bit of greed. Um, and then... These guys come around and stuff. He dodges out in the box there. So nah, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Lodge high off blitz will just roll double five. I'd go guard. I'd go guard. Block skills must be up. Wow. Perfect hit. Unbelievable. Un fucking believable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to leave this guy here so we can receive a handoff. I guess I've got to re-roll re, re it if I fail the pickup. Alright, good. Come on, don't fail this. Good. that better? Maybe. I guess I've actually got one, two, three. I can just pass and then hand off as well, can't I? I could pass to either of these. I don't actually need this guy here. So I'm here to chase sides to do that. Could I have done that with one dodge? Probably could have done, but it's good enough. GG, no blitz. And then the first action I did was a blitz. Um, try to knock this guy down and then push him. Diving catch could indeed be useful, Muppet Pac-Man. Imagine, oh my god, imagine if the pass is inaccurate and then he uses diving, t diving catch. That would be un unbelievable. Tackle and not having an impact, that is really good. Nah, he's going to... See, that's the thing. I thought if I have three guys back here, then it gives me more chances, but I guess he's going to try and base these and make me do a fucking stupid long pass. Let's see. Nah, that's good. Oh, Imperator Augustus. Yeah, it, it's, it's always been all right. Then the other day, for some reason, it wasn't all right, and I didn't know why. Maybe I should have had Eldril out there, so he could have sidestepped him. Chaos Warriors, pretty annoying. Mm hmm. So with a with a with a catch reroll, three plus catch reroll and everything, and dodge, this mightn't be that bad, might it? Three plus the reroll of catcher. Um, he could dodge out and blitz somebody. He could also dodge out. So I could blitz this guy. It probably works with giving him a 3 plus handoff. What I could also do is Eldril could just 2 plus it around here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to there. This guy could get a handoff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
as in looks a good does it for he could dodge then he could block him to there but it's still not good I'd have to pow him one two three four five six hmm just hand it off to him oh there's this guy here he could three plus two plus it out and then I could um hand it off to him and do that I think him him just passing it to him is the best he's in two tackle zones at the moment um which is a three plus which is all right isn't it I could one dice here I think handoff is the play. So now I don't have a reroll. No, all right. Double one bit. Do I know I had two? Fuck, I got a two on the first one. Shit. Shit. Maybe I should have one diced him first. It was hard though, wasn't it? I should have maybe got more people back there. Two tackles on the three plus, I suppose. Shit. Oh shit, dive and catch. <gasps> yeah, dive and catch. Oh man. Oh man. Jordel would have loved it, wouldn't he? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, jo oh god, Jordel's ridiculous. There's really no point to, to nurse a steal, is there? Shit. Oh, he got his guys back. He made two out of three, and I made one out of two. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking three, five. It's fucking hell. He didn't even realise he had diving catch. He's a really good catcher, isn't he? He could just corner on a two plus. Maybe he should have just passed it to him. If I would have failed anyway, two, one. I probably should have um, decided to one dice that warrior. Or not move the other guy forward. Maybe should have left that other guy back where he was. Then it would just be a two plus handoff or something. Um, right, this is going to be more dodgy, isn't it, this time? Because now I'm just going to try and fight him for as long as possible. wasn't easy his kick if he just hadn't kicked it perfectly i could have probably just two plus passed it two plus caught it couldn't i and then two plus dodged it i've got to stall for as long as possible haven't i realistically um players down against a fuck rowdy as fuck team but i should be able to score at any time that's the thing with with Jordell, maybe Jordell should carry it. First action alone, let's see you later, quick. Got him. <laughs> he can blitz now, can't he? that guy in the way of him that guy in the way of him got him oh my god injury <laughs> remove two players on turn one well that makes up for his three cards on um that makes up for his three cars in the first two turns, doesn't it? I made two cars there, effectively. Holy shit. Except the difference was his were with Mighty Blow on... Um, well, no, his th actually weren't with Mighty Blow on... Um, amazingly, his removals weren't with Mighty Blow. They were just ran... They were the few guys without Mighty Blow. Um, but now he's got eight, and I've got eight as well, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight each. Not bad. <laughs> Probably VIP sort of the morning because he thinks the armor nine won't break. Um, and I guess it's harder to get the two dice blocks, but not with him not supporting them. With a, it it wouldn't have been so bad if he'd put the three. Um, if he'd put the three warriors there with like guys stopping and getting assists to just be nine with the LOS or even the minor on the line, but to to do that and then not d and then not deny the blocks was weird, wasn't it? It would have been good with to use the strength and deny LOS blocks completely would have been would have been worthwhile, but not doing what he did, in my opinion. Yeah, except it wasn't it wasn't like putting those boys in beef, that's the thing, is it? It's just the rest of his defence was beef. So it was easy for me to two dice he put them apart. It was so easy for me to two dice them all. It was bad play. In my humble opinion. This guy first. Good. Fuck you. No oh man, three plus two plus, but it stops him getting hit by mighty blow, doesn't it? So I don't think it was that bad to try that. Oh, apart from it, lets him hit hit him with a minor, does it? With two GFIs, so not really. Doesn't re if he two GFIs and hits my ward, I'm sort of feel bad. Thousand dodger, unbelievable to. Oh, I should have sized up to heal. Oh, he's got tactic. Right, fair enough. Is he gonna try and foul Jordel? It's probably worth it, isn't it? If it's worth fouling anybody, it's worth fouling Jordel. I mean, he's got a lot of assists here. Another removal. One, two, three. He's got hardly got anything left, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Versus three, four, five, six. Yeah, six versus seven. It's crazy, eh? You won't have any players at this play. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Coach Cookie in the house. <laughs> um, it's not going as bad as you would have thought. 400 TB down against Philippe. But it's not going great. TBH. Um... the tactical thing to do would be to blitz this guy and then get all of these guys out but I just want to hit his tackler now that I've realised he's got one yeah, get him back here toast all the one Unbelievable, Jeff. Now he surfs my whole team. Oh, man. I totally should have blitzed him. Totally should have just blitzed him. But I thought, you know, if I make this blitz here, I'll, I thought it was worth making a 2 plus for the increased chance of knocking him down. And, you know, I'd want him to dodge away from them eventually anyway. And then if I'd powered him, he gets to go out without dodging. He gets to go out. I think that was probably the right play. Yeah, 
as long as I can focus this guy down, actually, though, that's the thing, isn't it? If I focus this guy down, I can actually, um, and he didn't surf my catch here, which is lucky. Lucky that he wasn't good enough to surf him. Um, if I can focus this guy down, then he can't deal with my bludger, probably, can he, actually? Well, he'd just keep rolling pals, though. But apart from that, apart from the keeping rolling pals thing, I'm definitely fishing this guy. Man, this is minor. Unbelievable, Jay. Right. First action loner. Looks good. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Can he get there? He can. Can he get there? Not really. I think he can go this way first. Shit. One in nine. Unbelievable, Jay. One in nine into injury. <laughs> Standard for this match. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was the bad thing by not basing him. He did get the blitz, Jordel, with tackle. Um, maybe I should have just based him. Not sure. Not sure if I should have just based that guy. Good sidestep, though, at least. I mean, I can just do plus away from him anyway, can't I? So it's not, it's not the end of the world. rest of his guys will be able to get back down here. But should be alright. <laughs> Zero rotten. <laughs> yeah. Crazy stuff. Sign language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're handy sometimes, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, he's made, making his GFI, he's making things harder. Reckon I just go for the two plus dodge out and then blitz him. And then dodge him out and then dodge him around, base him. Doesn't affect anything. Ah, lovely. Dodge him out first then. Wow, foul. Dirty dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so dodge this guy out first. So with the reroll not being used, he can go here. He can 
full clip away there, can I? And now he can try. Oh, I should have moved him. Second. One, two, three, four. Shit. Right. Fucked up there, didn't I, a little bit? Worked out though. Worked out in the end. He's got five rerolls. <laughs> right. So his minor could fail. He has got four to my four though. So then he's got two over here doing nothing, which is good. I can maybe get another stall, another turn of stall out of here, maybe, if I get the powers properly. And now I know that I can hand off to jo to Jordel in two tackle zones with uh, Dire and Cast, so that's good. I'm surprised he, he did that foul. Like if I was him, I'd have got these guys over here to make it so harder. Yeah, I think it was a very bad, a very bad um, misplay by him. Yeah, if he this guy could have been here, and I don't know which one moved, but maybe they both moved there. But even if they were here, they would have been able to base these guys, wouldn't they, and get tackle zones on and everything. Where instead they're just going to get back here and do nothing, which is quite nice of me. Yeah, run through their team dodging everything. Yeah, that's pretty much Jim Shaman. I mean, obviously it would have been better if I had more men, but um, I lost loads of guys, uh, making it pretty difficult. He lost quite a few, to be fair, more than he more than he should have done on average. Yeah, all right, the leader's movement five. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, but even then, yeah, okay, movement five is probably too slow. But the other guy should have got in the muster, yeah. The other guy could have been here at least, couldn't he? Um, doing something. But then I guess I could have just dodged out and GFI'd twice instead of him or something. With only one reroll, I guess maybe I do just stall next turn and then try to throw something at him to stop him stalling. Yeah, that's, a, that's very true. <laughs> VIP leading hippie. Um... Yeah, with 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 him with him actually dying, that basically makes makes a restart desirable, doesn't it? A one a one ward onto which elf which elf a one ward onto wood elf team, which is a wood elf team anyway. See you, VIP Kurgol. <laughs> VIP Kurgol, fuck off. I can just two plus the score, can't I? But I'd rather not. I would rather like blitz the tackler and then run away. And then and then stall. Two, three, four, five. He could, he could like deep leap and dodge to there. He could block and pow him. He could. No, nah, I think I just, I think I just try to stall. Yeah, he needs plus strength. I think this, the Christmas elves is gonna be a short, a short-lived team. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh man. Brutal. Merry fucking Christmas. Got his comma back as well. The, the one that came back out of those three was his fucking Paranoid on mine as well.
fuck is this? <laughs> fuck is this formation here? We've got a reroll though, so maybe we'll be able to get in his way. I need 11, man. I'm 400 TV down. I've said it 100 times, but I guess right, right now I'm more than 400 TV down because there's all this in the fucking in the dead box. But I guess he's missing a couple. Of, he's only got nine. But the thing is, because he's got the dodge, he doesn't really need to protect the ball as much, does he? Yeah, rule of two meta, yeah. survive to to get me more down oh, shit. <laughs> um fucking hell another wood elf game maybe I guess I think I'm gonna have to start a new team though because I reckon they're gonna be dead after this after this fucking match Brutal, isn't it? Absolutely brutal. Poor little fuckhead. The crazy thing is, it's always the ones without mighty blow that are getting the removals. It's like, <laughs> it's like he does a rando foul, gets a gets a removal. Rando blocks get removal. Piling on, I guess he's piling on mighty blow mid mid so. But um, it was mostly just, just random blocks doing it. Crazy stuff. <laughs> 620. Well, because the wizard didn't roll, so. No, vote down. Lona fail? Oh my god. Too good. Literally too good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was... That was fun. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Holy shit. Two GFIs to base him. No GFI. I'll I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll Jordels. Fuck it. Right, try and base him. God, <laughs> this fucking team! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh man! I mean, he's three dicing him if he wants, but then he needs a canoling threat. Uh, maybe I should have stood this guy up actually, just to be basing people. Because now he can run away, so I guess that was a that was a bad mistake. Yeah, imagine exactly dying modes. That's why I don't like Wood Elves for for those kind of leagues, you know, because um, you get those kind of situations where it's much more likely that my team gets wrecked. Um, obviously, my team got wrecked in OCC anyway. But it's much more likely because you've got Wood Elves, isn't it? But then I wouldn't have been 400 TV down either in, after in the second game. Oh man, if he caught it there, it would have been pretty good. 
I was really bad not standing him up though actually wasn't it in retrospect in retrospect that not stand up could could cost me a match I mean he'd still have him as a scoring threat which is who he wants to score anyway but still maybe I should have gone for the pick up with the with the ward answer just that then Joe Dillard be on his feet afterwards Pretty bad not standing him up. Two players he gets to move instead of one and could have saved. He just loaned her a beast now, yeah. He's gonna try and pass now, isn't he though? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI hand off and then run over there. That's that's gotta be his play. Except now he's got this canorium threat, which he wouldn't have had um, had I stood in. Well, he still would have had it. Oh. Unbelievable, Jeff. Can he go for the handoff now? Maybe not. He's got to pass it. if He, he can't go for the GFI now, I don't think. He's got to pass it if he wants it to him. So maybe he's got to hang on to it till next turn gone for the pass lucky bastard lucky fucking cunt that is unbelievable isn't it unbelievable jeff unbelievable well at least uh, 190 down i've got an apple though haven't i so Man. Oh, he freed him up, though. That was nice of him. That was really nice move, making that block. This is the play, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I think two, two pluses might be better. Oh, God, what is going on here? This is a lot of two pluses. Wish I had a reroll. I'll do this one first. GFI there, do that at, at the end. Right, so that's a, that's a one in nine fail instead of a one in six. So it's actually better, and that's a one in six. I've got to go one away anyway. So it's a one in nine and then a one in six rather than two one in sixes. So that is better, isn't it? I hope it's enough. If only he hadn't stunned Joe Deli, because he's gone one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, I couldn't reach it. It'd have been pretty fun for even just facing it would have been good though, wouldn't it? So this guy can't score, this guy can't score, he's the only scoring threat. Still, it's like a 2D blitz on him, isn't it? And then a 3 plus 3 plus. It's got a reroll that isn't even hard. Maybe I should have made the extra GF fighter here um, so that if it pushed his mill could. Fight. 
three. Yeah, I might have to start with no rerolls ne next time so I get the three because obviously the plan the plan was to get a three, but um I couldn't do it. Yeah, I got the board down on those, even if I put in the right trade. So it's a three three, isn't it, for him? Three plus three plus with a reroll. So I mean chances are he'll score still. So that's not alright, isn't it? A draw a draw in, in this match is alright, isn't it? Just to I mean four hundred P V down. King killed. No, there's a chance, there's a chance. There's a chance. One in three. Come on. Tell me there's a chance. There was a chance. One in three would have failed then. <laughs> when at the end. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, but it's holy shit, 70 AV break. It felt like more. Um seven A B breaks and seven bl seventeen blocks is pretty good though, isn't it? 760 for whoever was asking. Ah, but no 780 unless you got the skill. Nah, nothing. Frenzy. Um, I guess to beat the king. Because uh, with only one war dancer, a starting king is probably better than this, isn't it? what I imagine. I imagine starting king is better than this. Um, so there you go. A short-lived short team there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.